2014 saw the launch of Parsons Extreme Golf, or what's better known as PXG. Gen 1 soon became Gen 3. Throw in a Proto Driver and the 0211 irons, and you're up to speed. PXG set out to make the very best golf equipment with no expense spared, and very quickly became a brand with a hefty price tag. So what's about to happen could throw a hand grenade in amongst the price of golf clubs, and not in the way you would assume. Things are about to get interesting. Interesting is an understatement. Uh, the thing I most admire about this brand is they, they make a bang, they bring some theatre and this is no different this time around. They, they literally eat you right between the nuts and they don't give a damn what anybody else in the industry is doing. Uh, in front of me I've got four brand new products. It's the 0211 range for 2021. We've got hybrids, we've got a new set of irons, we've got fairway woods, and we've got drivers but there's a massive story behind all this and there is only one place to start and it's just this thing the driver because this is the game changer amongst it all so in the past the first thing you would think of when you mentioned pxd product was price and high price that's what it became synonymous for in fact in recent years lots of people have commented that the price um, hike in terms of mainstream product was largely due to the fact that pxg introduced these such high prices in the first place so what i'm about to tell you if that was a fact is gonna have a massive impact in bringing things right down the other way. Because we've got a driver from PXG that's gonna be pitched in at 375 US dollars, 325 British pounds. Nothing like what we've ever seen from PXG before. And just put that into some kind of perspective. Here's what I would consider the sort of major players right now. So you've got Callaway in at 449, you've got the TM and Ping product in at 400, down there at the bottom end, you've got Cobra and Mizuno, 300 and 349 pounds respectively. And then now you have this product from PXG, which is gonna sit right down that bottom end at 325. And that's the bit that baffles me. Where PXG have been and where they've decided to pitch this in is the major story in this range for me. So the question is, if this thing looks, performs rather, as good as it looks, this will be the game changer that I referred to earlier. But we all know that price means absolutely nothing unless this thing can perform. And that's exactly what we're gonna find out now. I'm gonna hit some balls and collect data as I normally would do uh, on the driver. I will then continue to go through the bag in terms of the irons, the hybrids, and the fairway woods. In today's video, we're gonna focus purely on the stats and numbers that I get from the driver and I'm going to follow up with some individual videos on each of the other products and take a closer look. But for now, let's see how this driver gets on. Before I go any further, the first comment I've got to make is I address how this, how this club head looks identical to the Proto driver. So from the top line, it is exactly the same. If you lay them both uh, aside one another right now, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. There is apparently a slight change in the profile in terms of the head shape, but that really classy, what I think is a very classy matte finish on top of this crown is exactly the same as what we'd see on that premium price driver. So that's the first thing of note. But anyway, let's, let's hang around here and let's just see first ball on the camera. It's a solid swing. The pressure on the camera on tends to focus the mind a bit. That's solid, it's right down the target line. We'll see what it's done in terms of numbers. And then I'm gonna give you some immediate feedback after I've hit quite a few decent balls with this of how it sounds, how it feels, and how I think it's performed overall, irrelevant to that price tag. Right now, the thing that interests me is your opinions. What do you think of this range and how it's gonna impact overall? Because it's a massive change up in terms of the pricing structure. This whole range has really, it surprised me a great deal in terms of where it's been pitched. But more importantly, what are your thoughts?
comments down below i'd love to hear from you right so first impressions have it uh well a good good enough few balls now to get an understanding of what this club is doing and we'll get to data at the end of this video in terms of performance in terms of how it sounds and feels in my hands uh, right now on this cold morning it's a little bit firmer in terms of its sound than the previous models in my opinion um, and again it's something that we've noticed that in terms of adjustability in this uh, in this design there's one weight port at the back which can be changed that weight can be you can buy a weight pack and you can change the weighting uh, but it's situated at the very back in terms of aiding uh, CG and ability to launch and this literally without before we get to the numbers this performs exactly as we've seen all the major drivers do in the last 12 months or so it's launching well the ball speeds are good the ball speeds relative to swing speed are good I'm giving away all the clues here but this thing is ticking the boxes that's all I need to say it's still possibly a game changer but it's all down to that price point that is the major key but anyway let's get back inside let's have a look at that data right so that's back in dry ball data and the dry ball data has been collected for both the irons the hybrids the fairies and the driver but as i've already said i'm going to pay more attention to the driver stats in this video but for me the big story in amongst all of this is the price yet we want to know how it performs but ultimately like i said what we've seen here is a huge change from pxg so before i go any further the prices in front of you now are for the three wood you can see is 270 in british pounds 325 dollars the hybrids are going to come in at 250 pounds 275 us dollars and the irons will be 130 pound and that's 195 per club us dollars so again it's just each of those products is nothing like what we've ever seen before they're pitched in at the lower end of things and all of a sudden they're becoming a major player to all those mainstream brands and arguably at 130 club with the irons again then that is really pitched in lower than some of their mainstream brands so forgetting all that let's get back to the performance of the driver don't forget we know where it sits in terms of price but how did it do in terms of performance was it any good in the hands of this average golfer well let's go with the data first of all i'll put that in front of you this is the averages across the board which i always display in terms of it's done exactly what i would expect it to do it's right in amongst it so that sort of average around that sort of 240 carry off the swing speed that i've got is as good as it's going to get it was fairly consistent in terms of where I hit it. I've not been able to get this out on the course. As you know, we're on lockdown right now, so I would have preferred to give you some more feedback having tried it out on the course, and we'll do that in the future. But for now, all I can tell you is that what you've got to do, I think, is put some perspective on the whole thing. And what they've achieved is, I think, personally, that the PXG range of products is an extremely good looking brand. That's a personal thing, but that's what draws me to the product in the first place. It was then always a big off put for many because of where it's pitched. So what you're getting here, we know that all the drivers are pretty much maxed out in terms of what they do in terms of their performance. So you're really starting to pick, you're choosing your product based on how it looks is gonna be a major thing perhaps how it sounds and feels, how you dispersion, all those kind of things. But I think the net is closing and everything is performing very, very similar right now. So they're little bits that are uh, particular to you. So if you, if you like the look of this, but the price range has always been out of your bracket, then all of a sudden it has now become an option that it never was before. And that's the big deal for this whole thing. Like I said, is it a game changer? I don't know, time will tell. There's no doubt that them coming in, them being PXG, coming into this marketplace at 325 quid for a driver is, I think, fair to say unexpected. Um, I never thought a year ago I would see a PXG product being sold for that kind of price. So it's a surprise. It'll be interesting to see how those bigger brands, those sort of 400 plus drivers, are they going to react? Are they going to bring theirs down? Again, only time will tell. I think, again, if you want my overall opinion on the driver, on how, for those of you who've perhaps bought the Proto driver, um, what's the difference and why is the sort of the 100 odd pound difference? Well, for me, the, the negative that I had on the review was I still think for me, that face, whether it's that TI face or wherever it is, that material they're using, is a bit hard for me. Therefore, the sound was not what I would like to hear. And I think it was, I, I think, 
Um, what I prefer was in the Proto. I don't know how much, whether that's worth 100 quid or not difference, I've no idea. But there are small noticeable differences, but that's the one major thing that I would pick up on. But from a performance perspective, I'd say it's, uh, it's hard to say that any of these drivers are performing uh, that differently right now. Um, it's as simple as that. But it's a massive story, like I said, all about a brand, a brand that carried a price tag coming into a marketplace, into a mainstream marketplace at a price point that we never ever thought we'd see. So let's see what impact that has um, on everybody else going forward. It could be love or hate PXG, it could be a real positive for every golfer in terms of the price of product moving forward. Anyway, as ever, there is literally loads of these reviews to come. I think you're gonna be bombarded over the next month with uh, releases from literally every brand. So uh, if I could ask you, if you like what you've seen in today's video, uh, hit that like button, maybe consider subscribing. The notifications bell will also let you know every time we post, and that'll be pretty much daily for the next uh, 20 odd days on the bounce, I think. Uh, that is it, I'm done. Everybody take care, and I'll see you all very, very soon.